Okay, folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a fairly simple Irish shrimp fly called the Fucking Copper. Okay, and it's one of these ones that doesn't need jungle cock, so it's just keeping it simple. Okay, so for the tag for the fly, I'm going to use copper wire, or you could use copper oval and tie it up to yourself. So I'm going to just secure that in underneath as I run the thread up the body, up to where I hit the point of the hook. Then I start creating a tag. So I just create a few turns. And then whenever you're happy, just bring that last bit in underneath. Secure it. And run up your excess up to the center of the hook. Use your blunt scissors cut off the excess or you could twist it that should have twisted i don't know why i've done that but anyway okay so the tail of the fly so it's an irish shrimp fly so it's going to be golden pheasant but this time this is actually golden pheasant and it's 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 being bleached and it's um dyed purple so it's quite different in terms of a purple tail you probably could use a clarid tail as well it's not much difference to the color between the clarid and the purple but it's a lovely looking lovely looking tail in them Okay, so what I've done is I've just exposed the tip. I'm going to wax my thread. It's going to tie in a dot. So there's quite a few turns because that's been tied in from the halfway mark. Okay. And then I can cut off my excess. And then just double back the favours using a wet hand. And then take your turns. Okay, so I've got three two turns already there. I think three will be enough. So just gonna do one last turn. And just tie that down. Okay, and then just bring that up to the centre of the hook. Now then, this is where I realised I should have put some flies in beforehand, but you can always put in afterwards. So I'm going to put in a few basically strands of gold crystal flies and they'll go up, so they'll kick up the top of the tail. Okay. Now, what I like to do with my eye shrimp flies is take them out <sighs> um, blow up the rear just to make sure there's a good spread of fibers the whole way around the hook and they're not just at the top or the bottom or the sides I'll make it swim easier too okay then secure it back in the vise then I just tie right down to the, the tag which means that you're securing your feather at the same time and it's going to kick up okay now right, i'm going to just remove that excess so um for the body of the fly it's, it's copper so you could use copper um, flat braid which i'm using or you could use um it's this holographic copper braid you could use um copper tinsel like ma flat mailer if you want it as well it's entirely up to yourself okay And there's no tag for this fly because the flat blade is fairly robust. But you could use the copper again that used in the tag for your rib. Your rib, sorry. Okay. So you've probably seen this before in my videos. I always use a wee bit of super glue underneath the flat blade. Helps it give it a real secure hold. Okay. And just run that up the body. One. Until just past the halfway mark. Okay, then we just secure it in with a couple of turns. Cut off your excess and keep it for later. Okay, 
Okay. Then the mid hackle. So mid hackle is going to be hot orange. So we've got a hackle ready here, and it's a bit, bit of a long orange. I always use like I like to use a mid hackle that's quite long, so it basically makes the tail and the flow. So I've exposed a few fibers. I've created like a bit of a V, and then just tie them in, double the fibers back, and tie on top again. So it's a very secure hold. Again, use the blunt end of your scissors. They just start training those fibers to go back. You want as many fibers as possible pointing inwards. And it'll make it a lot easier whenever it comes to tying that hackle in. Okay, so a few turns. It's up to yourself how many you want to do. I've done two here. I'm probably going to do three. I'm just going to remove what I think will be the access for a cleaner inner finish and then secure it in cut off your excess and then going forward just bring that back okay and then what we'll do is we'll get your flap rate again and we'll tie that in. Okay. And again, we'll use super glue underneath. Give it a real secure hold. It also means if you let go, it still holds it and you're not going back to step one. Okay, and then this body is a lot shorter than the second body, so it's probably about a third and two thirds at the rear. So you'll probably only get a couple of turns. Okay, a few turns to secure it, and then cut off your excess. There's only bits of that. Braid start to fray, just cut it off at this stage. Okay, so then we have the front hackle. So the front hackle is hot orange again, but it's hot orange badger, badger hackle. That's a tad smaller than the middle hackle. So I've just exposed the tip, break it off, and create a little V. Wax the thread and tie that in. Put the fibers back. Another few wraps to make it really secure. Then just again, doubling back those fibers. And do as many turns as you like. One, two, I'll probably leave it at three again. Three. This is a great way to fly for salmon. Um, I've had a few salmon. I'm not going to say I've landed a lot of salmon on them. I'm quite unlucky, but I have had a few salmon on them. And I also got a few sea trade as well in the foil system on it last year. So definitely have one in the box for rivers that you'll have salmon and sea trade on. Okay, so I'm just going to... Because there's no jungle cock and no second hackle, I can just bring all this back, including the hackle stock. And make that really secure, because... Don't have to worry about the build up of the head. Trim off your excess. Okay, and then just start building up that head if you haven't already got a good strong looking head there. Okay. And then get your whip finish tool. And do four or five turns on it. Give it that really secure hold. And that's your Fahan Purple Shrimp Fly Complete, folks. Hopefully, you find that useful. And as always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.